Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I edit a lot of photos, of course, but prior to that, quite obviously, I take a lot of photos. And I've traveled a lot over the years, and I always bring cameras and just take a lot of photos, and I just kind of you know, consume, consume, consume in terms of firing and shooting and just, you know, raw materials, for lack of a better word, for future editing projects, whatever it may be. So sometimes, though, I'm traveling with family and I can't really bring all my gear and set up a tripod and get all the things I want to get the perfect shot. And so uh, I've got an example here of a photo that it is my favorite terrible photo. I love the photo. It's got everything I love about uh, taking photographs, right? It's got so many elements that I just adore in photos. And yet, honestly, it's not a particularly great photo. So let me show it to you. Here it is. This was evening, which I love to shoot in a city, which I love to shoot in evenings. It's Paris, of all places, which is a gorgeous place. It's a street scene, which is quite possibly my favorite subject. On the left-hand side, it's got some graffiti kind of stuff which I adore. On the right-hand side, it's got my wife and daughter walking down. It's got a lot of different lines. It's just got so many elements that I just love. Uh, and, and I love to take photos like this. You've seen me edit this kind of stuff. Street scenes at night, people walking, different lines, just life happening. Uh, and I just like to shoot these kind of things. But as I said, I don't always have the right gear or the time. And in this case, I didn't have either. This was uh, an evening out. I just carried a tiny little point and shoot camera that I have, which is a Panasonic LX100. Great little camera, micro four thirds sensor, shooting at F 1.7 ISO 1600, handheld in low light, not a recipe for a good photo. As I said, it's my favorite terrible photo. And the reason I say it's terrible is because when I zoom in, you'll see like, it's not particularly clean. It's pretty noisy. I mean, there's noise all over this. It's just kind of a mess. None of this stuff looks particularly clear, but I love what's going on. All these diners in this bistro in Paris, this little street scene, people walking, right? You know, all that kind of stuff. It's got so many elements that I absolutely adore in photos, and yet it's just not really a particularly great photo. So you know, the old garbage in, garbage out applies. You can take a photo that's kind of terrible and turn it into a better looking terrible photo with editing, which is what I'm gonna do. Um, but in, in this case, I feel like I kind of saved the photo because again, small sensor, low light, handheld, high ISO, it's noisy as can be. And so what I did is I took it into Denoise AI because I'm really enjoying this new update. And what I've done is take a look at some of these different models that they have, severe noise, low light, and clear. And honestly, I was kind of surprised. So I'm gonna zoom into 200 and let you take a look here. And if you look like, uh, you know, right in about here, I kind of assumed severe noise was gonna do the best because I made a recent video about how good it is. And it is really good. But in this photo, I actually think clear looks better. So I actually, after playing around with this and changing settings and that sort of thing, I actually decided that clear looked a whole lot better. And it allowed me to get a much crisper, clearer, no pun intended, uh, denoise photo that looks fantastic, I think. And so the next step for me was really taking this into Luminar and doing some edits. And so this is my denoise AI. I did some things in light already. And then I went over to Enhance AI to give it a little bit of pop. I went into Structure just to, whoops, just to bring up a little bit of detail there, give it a tiny bit of crunch. I went into Landscape to give it a little bit of golden hour for that little extra pop of warmth, especially in those, uh, the lights and stuff on the left-hand side. And then Vignette just to draw a little bit finer attention to the photo itself. And that's my final edit. This isn't really a tutorial as much as it is just an example of what you can do with a couple of key tools. And in this case, Denoise AI, it saved my favorite photo. So, you know, my favorite terrible photo. So let me show you, you remember this preview here and how noisy it was and how it's not really very clear and that sort of thing. And now here's the final edited photo and I can just zoom in and you can just look around this photo. If you remember all that noise, so much clearer, so much cleaner. And frankly, I think the photo looks crisper. And that's one of the powerful, awesome things I think about denoise is I've just got a much better looking photo. Now, keep in mind, this is a JPEG. I'm zoomed in and it was one point, F1.7 ISO 1600 handheld and low light. It's not a great photo. I'm gonna say that repeatedly because it isn't. But you know, if you're like me, you have those photos and you're like, man, I just kinda of, kind of wanna save this photo. I just wanna do something to make it 
kind of you know look better than it did. Oops, uh, I meant to go this way. And I feel like this combination of Denoise AI and Luminar really got me to a place where I'm as happy as I'm probably gonna get with this photo. I probably didn't focus that well because they were walking, everybody's walking, and sometimes, especially with street photography like this, you just take the shot because you don't have a lot of time. You can't say, everybody pause, you're in the right spot, but I wanted to get them walking, those other people walking, and in just another moment or two, they were gonna converge and be too close together. This other guy was going around that happy hour sign in front of the restaurant. It was just, you know, I think Henri Cartier-Bresson called it the decisive moment. I'm not comparing my photos to his. Uh, I'm not even saying this is a great shot. In fact, I've said it repeatedly, it's a terrible photo. But there's so much I like about it uh, that I like about it. I wanted to save it, and I feel like Denoise AI plus Luminar, that was the critical first step, Denoise, to get me to a photo that I'm like, I can use this. Now, I could print it. It would be okay from a distance. If you really pixel peep, as I showed you earlier, it's not particularly great, but backed up, that's a pretty decent looking photo. And it's really Denoise AI that saved it for me because it got rid of the noise, gave me back a little bit of detail, then a few further enhancements in Luminar got me to the point that, you know what, I've got a photo now that I like and that I'm happy with, and it's a great memory. And that's one of the things I love about digital photography and all these tools. You can take a terrible photo that might be your favorite and turn it into a less terrible favorite photo, something that you can theoretically even print or display and, uh, you know, be proud of it. So that was all I was doing, just walking through an example of how Denoise really saved this terrible photo of mine. And uh, that's it, my friends. I hope it gives you some ideas. Don't hesitate to ask me any questions down below. I've been using Denoise AI a bit more recently because I feel like the new model and the recent update that I talked about in that video are better. It's performing more rapidly. It's performing better for me, and I'm enjoying it. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching, my friends. I'll see you in the next video. You guys take care of yourselves, and adios.